Salute omnes and welcome to this video on the ablative of personal agent. There are many uses of the ablative. This is one of the most important ones. Some of the ones that we've seen most often in this early part of the year are this one here, he is in Europe. This is the ablative of place where, right? So in plus the ablative. He fled by horse, which actually uses no preposition. This is the ablative of means or the ablative of instrument. It tells us how someone did something using what instrument, using what means they accomplished something. She walked with her friend and that uses cum. Okay, that's the ablative of accompaniment. It tells us with whom something is done. And the one that we're going to focus on in this video, he was saved by his friend, which will normally have an A or an AB. And this is the ablative. So the ablative of personal agent, as we've already learned, tells us by whom something is done. And we see this when we use the passive voice. There's a reason why we learn these together. So I will send the package. That's in the active voice. We know who will send it. The package will be sent. This is in the passive voice. And what we don't know is by whom it will be sent. The package will be sent by her. And that is your personal agent. And I won't use the goofy music again. You get the idea. So that yellow thing is the ablative of personal agent, and that's what we're going to be looking at now. So let's take a look at the active voice. Let's break down a sentence that's got an active voice verb. The queen loves Marcus. We know who loves and we know who is loved. Okay, and the queen will be in the nominative case because she's the subject. And Marcus is the direct object, okay? He's the thing that is being loved, okay? And if we were to do it in Latin, we would say Regina Marcum Amat. Marcus gets the M at the end because he's in the accusative case. And we could certainly change up the word order. Now, if we switch this into the passive voice, Marcus is loved by the queen. Well, Marcus is now in the nominative case. Marcus is loved. That would be enough of a sentence right there. But we want to know by whom he is loved. And by the queen, the personal agent, that'll be in the ablative case. Marcus, a regina, a mantour. So that a plus the ablative that's what the personal agent looks like. So if you look at the top, amor is I am loved. And if you don't know your passive voice verbs, this would be a good time to stop and review. The easy way to remember the endings is aris termer mini unter, as we've said in class before. So amor is I am loved. Look at that. One word can be one sentence. Amor a regina means I am loved by the queen. Amor a puella. And you can pause and answer if you need time to think about it. I am loved by the girl. Amor a filia. I am loved by the daughter. And yes, I could say I am being loved also. Amor a mea filia. I am loved by my daughter. Amor a filis. I am loved by the daughters. Naratur a puita. Well, let's see. Arister tur means he, she, or it. Naratur a poeta is it is told or it is narrated by the poet. Naratur a puella. It is told by the girl. Aedificatur apuela. 
Well, I difico is I build. I difficor is I am built, which we really wouldn't use very often in any language. Aristur he shear it is built by the girl. It's pretty easy. Let's take a look at some more difficult examples. Animal, amateur. What do you suppose this means? The animal is loved. And look, I have nothing in blue there. There's no personal agent. We don't know by whom the animal is loved. Animal amateur ab agricola. The animal is loved by the farmer. Fabulat naratur a poeta. The story is narrated by the poet. Opidum aedificatur a regina. The town is built by the queen. Spector, I am seen. Spector apuela. I am seen by the girl. So as you see Latin sentences pop up, see if you can translate them before I give the answer. Fabula a regina naratur. The story by the queen is told. Poeta a regina spectatur. A regina servamur. Well, for this one, you've got to remember what servo means, and if you don't, that's where you go to your glossary or to a dictionary. And it's got a mur at the ending. A ristur mur. Mur refers to we. We are protected by the queen. Ab amico laudor. Now we're using an ab this time because after that, amico begins with an a and we don't really want to put two a's together. It would be like amico laudor and that's not going to be very easy for us to say. Willa ab agricola aedificatur. Do you have this one? Adea amamini. Well, we know that amo is I love, and amor is I am loved. Aristur mur mini. That's the fifth one. That's the second person plural. So. You, plural, are loved by the goddess. Puella a Minerva vocatur. Minerva has a capital M. That should help. The girl is called by Minerva. Urbs a Romanis aedificabatur. And here you want to be careful because there's a ba. Ba is going to do what it did before. It's going to tell us that we're in the imperfect. The city was being built by the Romans. Animal apuela amatur. Hopefully you're getting a feel for the structure here. The A or the AB in the ablative of the personal agent will generally not be separated from its noun, from its ablative noun. So you'll see them together. They could go at the beginning. They could go at the end. And let's try a few more examples and we'll mix up the tenses a little bit. Animal, apuero, amabitur. Oh, we've seen be before in the future. So, the animal will be loved by the boy. Apuela narata est. This is one of those two parters. 
we have the fourth principal part here, and we've got sum here, which is used for the perfect passive. Was told. Atu apuela narata est. It was told by the girl. Aregina servata est. There's another two-parter, this time using servo. She was saved by the queen. And I put she here because there's an A, implying that whatever it was that was saved was probably feminine. It was probably a girl, rather, or a female. Anauta spectata est. She was looked at by the sailor. Ades servabor. Ooh, there's that B again, but there's no BA. So, this tense sign tells us that we're dealing with the future. I will be saved by the gods. Willa edificata erat. This is another two-parter. There's our fourth principal part again. And now we have the imperfect of sum, which means this is the pluperfect passive. The house had been built, or the villa, or the farmhouse had been built. There's actually another word for house, which we haven't learned yet. Puer adea vocatur. I think you can do this one. The boy is called, or is being called, by the goddess. And finally, magister adiscipulis amatur. The teacher is loved by the students. Thanks, guys. Okay, that's it. We took a really good long look at the ablative of personal agent. Be careful. Wallet.